Welcome to our section about word problems. Today we're going to learn how to solve problems with consecutive numbers. Let's go and have fun! Anytime you think about consecutive numbers, you think about numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or you can maybe think about consecutive even numbers 10, 12, 14, 16, or maybe you can think about consecutive odd numbers like 9, 11, 13, and so on. How do we do these problems? The first thing you need to learn is how to set up consecutive numbers. Anytime you have the first number, that's going to be x. The second number is going to be x plus 1. The third one, x plus 2. And you guess it, the fourth number is going to be x plus 3. This makes sense. If the first number is 1, the second one has to be 1 plus 1, which is 2. The third one has to be 1 plus 2, which is 3. And the fourth one has to be 4, because 1 plus 3 is 4. As you can see here, no matter which value you have for x, then the rest of the formula is going to work. If you have 5, this is 6, 7, 8. Remember, if you need the fifth number, the sixth number, and so on, you just add x plus 4, x plus 5, and so on. What about if I have consecutive odd or even numbers? Well, it's easier. The first number is just x. The second number is going to be x plus 2. I know, even for odd, it's going to be x plus 2. The third number is going to be x plus 4, and the fourth number is going to be x plus 6. For example, let's say that we want to do an even number. Let's go ahead and just pick 10. The next even number is going to be 12. 10 plus 2 is 12. The next one is going to be 14. And you guessed it, 16. What about if we pick odd numbers? Well, you tell me. Let's do 5. The next one is going to be 5 plus 2, which is 7. Then this one is 9. And then this one is 11, and so on. What about if we go ahead and do a problem? Let's do it. The sum of four consecutive numbers is 66. What is the largest number? Remember, I need to set it up as x, x plus 1, x plus 2, and x plus 3. This is my first number, second, third, and fourth. Beautiful. What can I do now? I can go ahead and solve for x. 1, 2, 3, 4. I have four x's. And then 1, 2, and 3. That's going to be 6. Now I can go ahead and pass this 6 to the other side. Finally, 66 minus 6 is going to be 60. And finally, I can divide both sides by 4. So I get that x is equal to 15. Love it. This is the smallest number, but the question is asking me for the largest number. So I go ahead and I substitute my x in all my numbers. I get that this is x is equal to 15. The next one is 16. The other one is going to be 17. And finally, the largest number is going to be 18. Therefore, my answer is the largest number is 18. Super easy. Let's do another one. The sum of five odd consecutive numbers is 165. What is the smallest number? Remember, when you have odd numbers, you're going to start with x. The second one is going to be x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, and x plus 8. Love it. Then this whole thing is going to be 165. Now, we just go ahead and solve for x. Well, I have five x's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then if you add 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2, you're going to get 20. Finally, let's go ahead and solve for x. This 20 goes to the other side. And then 5x is equal to 145. Finally, I divide both by 5. And what do I get? x equals 29. Beautiful. What is the smallest number? The smallest number is 29. And if you do 29 plus 31 plus 33 plus 35 plus 37, you're going to get 29. Let's move on. Let's do another one. The sum of five even consecutive number is 120. What is the median of this number? These consecutive numbers can be what is the average, what is anything. As long as you know how to set it up, it's just going to be so easy. 
But remember, even we know that we do the first number is x, the second one is x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, and x plus 8. Love it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5x, five then 2, 4, 6, 8, 20. Finally, 120 minus 20 gives me 100. And I just go ahead and divide by 5, and I get that x is equal to 20. Now, I'm going to go ahead and substitute where my x's are 20, 22, 24, 26, and 28. Remember the median. You just go ahead and eliminate the extremes until you get the middle number. Bingo, and I get that my median is 24. Consecutive numbers are very easy. You just need to go ahead and practice and just understand how to set them up. I hope to see you next time. And again, thanks so much for learning. Thank you.